Fletcher. I'm the salesman here. My job is to pitch the superheroes to people that need them. A lot of them are really good guys, um, really easy to pitch. Some of them, some of them are slightly more awkward to pitch. Graham speaking. Yep. No, I haven't heard of him. Is that Russian? Hang on, bear, bear with me one second. Ian, Ian, have you ever heard of a new Russian superhero? We signed up recently. I've a poop my pants. I've a poop. I. Hawkeye, is that you? Oh, look, I know it's you. You've been acting like this since you. You're supposed to be one of the Avengers. Start acting like one. You're never going to get another job if you act like that. What have I told you about this? Start working on a second skill or something. You're not going to get anywhere with a bow and arrow. Any seven year old girl can do that. This is ridiculous. Start growing up. Hello? No, no. Don't. Don't cry. Don't know. No, you are one of the Avengers. No, look, we've, we've discussed this before, we've talked about this before. You, you are, we, we value your contribution, we really do. Let's, let's stop crying, stop, look, I've, I've got to go, someone's coming, look, I've, I've got to go, see you later, look, love you, bye. Ah! 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 Um, I'm Ian Davis, I'm the, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm the IT guy for S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, my actual title is IT Champion. They give us all names like that for some reason. I mean, I, I should just be IT support, but like the secretary is super secretary. I don't know why she's got a super in front of the name. It doesn't make much sense to me, but in terms of the heroes and stuff, I, I work a lot with Tony Stark, um, Iron Man. Um, the thing with Tony is he's... He thinks he's a lot smarter than he actually is. Yes, sir. We are now flying at an altitude of 32,000 feet. Suit power is at 98%. Whenever he calls in to talk to Jarvis, it's, it's me. I have to kind of pretend to be a bit, you know, do a bit of a robotic voice, talk a bit posher. Uh, to Tony? Tony, what? what's up? Occasionally I'll break character and he, but he doesn't really notice. He's... Whip. We're being upgraded to Windows 10. I, I don't. I don't know what I'm. What to do? What? What? What altitude? What altitude were we at again? Thirty-two. We're only. We're only on twenty-five percent. That's not good. No one man could invent an AI in his back garden like Google have been trying it for years and haven't even got close yet. I. I don't. Um. Everything's gonna be. Okay? Everything is going to be okay, sir. Like I say, not as smart as you think he is. Listen up, everyone. Got a, got a bit of an announcement. Uh, just been looking at the, the budget. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel the cycle to work scheme. Wait, what? My name's Stuart Finsk. I'm from the accounts department at uh, Shield. Um, so that generally consists of uh, dealing with the financial side of uh, the admin and the actual um, agents as well. For instance, the recent thing down in New York when those aliens came for this guy and everyone's thinking, yeah, go Avengers, yeah, you're, you're saving, saving us from all these aliens. And they don't t like stop and just think about all the damage they're actually doing. So for instance, when I see Hulk smashing up some guy against a building, I'm thinking, right, that's a £5,000 claim there. That one's ten thousand pound. Oh, he's destroyed an entire road. That's about four million. Look, considering ninety-five percent of the people that work with the agency work on a helicarrier, it just doesn't seem financially viable. Seriously, that's like our best benefit. It actually, gives you quite a bit of power um, within the office, which is really good. So, for instance, if anyone's being a little, a little bit mean to me, I can say bye-bye, water cooler. You know, you can queue when you're thirsty next time. How can you justify Black Widow having a freaking motorcycle? If, if you can find a way that Black Widow can fall out of a spaceship at speed and still survive, then please let me know and I'll pass that on to someone else. At the minute, she needs a motorbike. Simple as that. This is great. I'm going to go speak to HR. I'm right here. So I'm Lucy Chapman. I work in HR here at S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, I understand, Bruce. No, it's not a problem. It's fine. It happens to, well, most people. I thought that my job here would be quite interesting and diverse and somewhere that I could really show that I'm 
you know, a Lucy of all trades. No, I'll deal with it. It's fine, there won't be a lawsuit. We'll convince the lady that it was her medication. My other open case at the moment is where the Hulk has been accidentally exposing himself uh, to the general public and, and to the elderly. Don't worry about it. I'll send you a new pair of stretchy pants right away. No, I don't want to see. How long for? You know the drill, Bruce. Over four hours, and you have to see the doctor. Great, great of me. Did you just unplug something? Yeah, I'll charge my phone. I'm halfway through pat testing the new Iron Man suit. Yeah, and I'm now charging my phone. Use your landline! What is this? 1995. Not happening. I need my phone. I bring in the people, I do sales, that pays your wages. Yeah, well... Anyway, what are you pat testing for? You were pat testing last week. This is a new one. And? What's different? It's... It's got Apple Pay. Don't know why he needs Apple Pay. He's rarely in a shop wearing the Iron Man suit. Everyone's got Apple Pay. You can't say this has got Apple Pay. Not, not Tony. It's, it's new for him. He's only just got a mobile phone. I sell him based on his ability to be tech savvy. It's the main point I run on. Yeah, but he's quite old. Like, his modern day tech's like... like he just got a Segway. Who... Nobody uses Segways anymore. Today's a big day for us. We've got the Mayor of Metropolis coming in. Uh, it's a real chance for us to get in with the DC crowd, get some of our guys in there and, and you know, get a foothold into that part of the world. Thanks for coming in today. I hear you've been having a few problems. You're not that happy with Superman at the moment. Oh, that, well, the whole bunch, to be honest with you, an absolute nightmare. Who, who have you Superman, got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. A Aquaman? You've got Aquaman? Aquaman. Metropolis is landlocked. Yes. What, what use is Aquaman? Exactly. About as much use as an ashtray on a motorcycle. An ashtray on a motorcycle. Yeah, we'll get one of those on for Black Widow. Metropolis needs my superheroes more than anything else. I mean, they've, they've got a lot of superheroes in Metropolis. Not any good ones. Uh, we can offer you the whole Avengers package. You know, and the longer you leave it, the more you're getting, but the more it's costing you. But our, our Avengers package now is amazing. You know, we've got all your standard basic core ones like Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Tony Stark, but we're actually getting more on top there now. Black Panther, you're getting Spider-Man, it's amazing. You know, and if you get that at the moment, we're actually doing an offer where you get all the Avengers package for a fixed base fee of 20 million, and we just chuck Hawkeye in for free. You don't even have to pay anything extra for him. And so, if he gets so, abducted or taken away by someone else, okay. then we actually give you a credit. So I'm gonna pay, I'll pay 20 million pound, and I'll get somebody with a bow and arrow free. Yeah. Really? It's better than nothing. But not always better than nothing, if you marginally. But you know, uh, okay, we'll, we'll we'll do it for we'll do it for eighteen million, and you take Hawkeye as well. I'll pay twenty five million, and you keep Hawkeye. So currently, um, I have for shortlisting uh, the narcoleptic fly, uh, Steve the underachiever, the boy racer. Inspector Space Time, Kick-Ass, like Kick-Ass, but British, um, Sergeant Silly String, Well Hung Hank, and Nicholas Cage. What, wait, what? He said he would literally do anything as long as he was paid. It, does he have like a, a costume or something? Uh, not in this picture. Is he wearing anything? I've got a few. I've got a few connections out in a minute. I'm waiting to hear back from them. If we can land this, one, I'm, I still need to get some more information. But basically, he's going to be a challenger to four. He, he's he's almost like a god. He's got connections to the gods. He's got a massive layer with subterranean libraries and, and people that follow him everywhere. Um, he's responsible for quite a lot of stuff at the minute. He helps people win the Oscars, football matches as well. Stuff that you just wouldn't expect. If we can land him, it's going to be massive. It's big. You know, like the Batmobile. He's got his own car. He's got his own car, and people that drive, it's the Pope. It, it, it's, it's the Pope. Uh, if we, I think we can get him. I, I think it'd work. Some people say, well, you guys, you're not the Avengers, so how much impact do you really have? And I say, yeah, we're, we're not, but you know, without us, there would be no S.H.I.E.L.D. And without S.H.I.E.L.D., there would be no one to save the world. So, in a way, I guess 
we should be really saying thank you to you lot. You're welcome.